Hey guys, Dr. Sean here with another short video. This time I, I want to talk about a biomarker that I've discussed in the past, which is finger puckering. Finger puckering is something that we all have experienced at some point in our lives, especially when we were in our childhood. If you have children, you notice if you put your child in a bathtub or they're swimming in a swimming pool, their fingers will pucker. The English Europeans call it finger pruning, where their fingers, you know, turn into basically like raisins. It's an interesting phenomenon. It's believed to happen to give us some facilitation and uh, greater eff effectiveness when we're in water environments. So the only places that puckering actually occurs or pruning occurs is on your fingers, the palms of your hands, and the soles of your feet. So you can grip better when you're walking on rocks and you hold things. The problem from my perspective um, pertaining to finger puckering is that we lose it. <laughs> and so uh, little kids pucker right away and they have it and uh, adults seem to, to lose it as we age. And I think it's because um, of chronic disease, you know, as, as we continue to get older, our bodies worsen and break down, mostly because of poor lifestyle choices. So I'm excited about finger puckering because my fingers have started to pucker again, and it's really an interesting phenomenon, and I view it as improvement of my physiology. So uh, when you start to uh, recover and regain functionality that you have lost as you, you age that you previously had in your childhood, that's something to be uh, encouraged about. And I first noticed this uh, one day when I was using my sauna after about, uh, honestly, it was probably three years of doing a sauna on a daily basis that I noticed uh, puckering in my in my hands. And I thought, why, why are my hands puckering? It's interesting. So um, I thought about it and I remembered, I said, what happened was different. I, I analyzed everything. So I, I said, I used um, coconut oil on a, on a wood chopping board. So I thought it was the coconut oil's influence topically so I decided to do a sign experience where I put coconut oil on one hand, nothing on the other, and I put my hands in two buckets of water, and I, I sat in there for 90 minutes, and nothing happened. So 20 minutes in the sauna, and 25 minutes in the sauna, and I got finger puckering, but 90 minutes in water didn't happen. Uh, coconut oil did not have a role in it. It's the sauna. There's something about the heat that activates uh, and improves the the effectiveness of pruning. So uh, pruning, uh, finger puckering, is really a, a function of, uh, of your nervous system. And uh, the reason why you know that is if you cut the radial nerve that provides innervation to these three fingers here, right in this, this area here, in a child, a young person, or if they have a radial nerve injury, then these three fingers won't... Um, they won't prune, they won't pucker when you stick it in a bucket of water. The other ones will, it's interesting, right? So uh, when you start to lose your functionality of your nerves, which start to break down, uh, lots, of, uh, lots of this happens, then you lose that finger puckering. So what I wanna share with you that's different, and I would like my audience, my YouTube audience, and uh, any of my followers on social media to be thinking about is if you start to have finger puckering uh, or you notice any change in it, um, let me know. I'd like to know. And here's my tip. This is what I found. Uh, typically, finger puckering for me takes about 10, 10 to 20 minutes uh, in, in water exposure. But yesterday, it happened to me in about uh, about 60 seconds. So what was the big difference? So I had to uh, wonder and think about it. So two things. And I'm not sure what it is. But uh, one, I'd gotten up um, in, the, uh, in the morning uh, previously in the day and it exposed myself to about two hours of early morning su sunrise you know just the the rich infrared on my body and that was longer than I ever have done that before in the past so two hours full bathing infrared rich rich red uh, orange yellow reddish uh, hue on my skin and uh, the other thing I'd, I'd broken a three-day fast so it's probably one of those two things or a confluence of those two things and probably some contribution of everything that allowed me to finger pucker in about two minutes, 90 to 120 seconds, boom, when I was in the shower, my fingers started puckering. So something about, I think those two things were the big difference that allowed me to, um, to have this finger uh, puckering very fast. So I've done fast before, I haven't noticed it, uh, but it may be the contribution of the, the infrared uh, 
uh, lights being emitted from the sunrise and uh, the, the, uh, uh, the fasting. So uh, I highly recommend that you take a look at my Instagram posting on uh, from June the, uh, sorry, July the 9th, just my recent, most recent one, July 9th, 2021. And I cover a lot of recommendations, doing those things. But a big one in there, I really believe, is sauna. I think the sauna really upregulates your perfusion, your blood flow uh, to your skin. Uh, there's something called turgor, you know, where you, you pull the skin up and how fast that, that uh, turgor comes back down, snaps back, is an indication of how healthy your skin is, how well perfused. When you go into a sauna, it dramatically improves that phenomena. And doctors, we do, at least in my emergency medicine training, we, we would ch uh, ch check skin turgor for evidence of hyper nutrient, too much sodium, like dehydration and things like that. We need to be tracking your skin turgor to see if your skin is improving because your lifestyle choices are improving, how you're living your life, how uh, your diet, fasting, uh, uh, how you exercise, these kind of things, how you're sleeping. You want really healthy skin. It's the largest organ in your body. So when you go into a sauna, you'll notice that skin turgor improves dramatically within like one to two minutes because you're upregulating your perfusion. You know, you're pushing blood flow to that skin and it gives it uh, a, a more perfused state. So when skin is better perfused, it, it looks better and it's, it's healthier. So uh, you want to get that. The same thing happens when you go out in the sun. Maybe not, not, not as dramatically, uh, but when you go out in the sun, check your skin trigger and you'll notice it, it will bounce back better than it does when you're inside. This is why you want to go out into, into the outdoors and get sunshine. You want natural sunshine through the influence of, of nitric oxide uh, being released through your endothelial cells and uh, improving that, your, your perfusion. You don't want to be some um, poorly perfused a human being with poor perfusion to your skin, the largest organ in your body. but. If your body, uh, your skin is being perfused better, other areas of your body are going to be perfused better. And we got everybody scared to death to go out in the sun. I'm telling you, the next thing, you know, that's going to happen is they're going to scare us to death about water. They're going to create a fake water. We create fake sun, you know, fake lamps. We're going to create a fake water. You watch. something. Somebody's going to try to sell that. Stick to things that have been around for billions, uh, billions of years. The sun... <laughs> And uh, water's been around, I don't know how long, but uh, a long time. We're adapted to it. Don't avoid that. Uh, what you want to do is avoid things that are going to hurt your body, that, that interfere with your ability to uh, enjoy the sun and get what, what you need at. So go out in the sun, check your skin turgor, watch for finger puckering when you go into uh, a watery environment. So, um, and make sure you're using a sauna. Check my last Instagram posting, July 9th, for more recommendations how to optimize your health. Again, I'm a not-for-profit uh, physician, uh, researcher, uh, who specializes in health and performance optimization. Uh, it's my passion to work with people who really want to get healthy and really perform better, to really get healthy and really perform better. And uh, if you think you're, you're interested in uh, doing that, um, You'd like to be, you'd like to consider working with me. Uh, take a look at my website, uh, uh, www.medconwellness.com. -E -L -L -E and <clears throat> if you're interested in working with me, um, get a hold of me and we'll see if you'd be a good fit. I only work with people that I think uh, that I really could uh, help out and also that that I could uh, study at the same time and learn from. So, okay, well, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. Uh, if you like it, give it a like. Uh, and uh, the other thing I'd ask you is if you uh, like it, give it a uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, consider sharing with other people who are interested in learning about biomarkers. I look at these innovative biomarkers. I want to tell my followers, I want to get, get our country uh, to pay attention to things, things that really matter instead of like cholesterol and laboratory values. Millions of years we didn't study laboratory values. I, I want to give you the things that, that really are going to help you out 
uh, what you should pay attention attention to, which is basically um, uh, your appearance and your functional performance. So you'll hear me say that time and time again. All right, well, thank you very much for your time here, and we'll see you next time.